so basically uh, if i remember correctly in our orientation uh, we were told like things about the university which are safe zones uh, what are where the emergency services are located uh, we got to know more about the university and had our passport verification we were given some tips on uh, you know, traveling and logistics in and around the university that are not usually there on the website so it's uh, quite useful you like i would say don't skip the orientation so i'm kemi so we have a class of 60 with uh, most of us being uh, asian and uh, indian uh, not many local i would say american citizen students in the class uh, same goes for computer science but the class strength at usc for computer science is like 300 and most of them are from india so first semester not much um, because it's the most difficult one you actually have to study i think uh, by the second semester uh, you get used to the timetable and you become smart enough to uh, manage your time efficiently so there's a lot of scope of extracurricular activities at usc there's a football league cricket cricket league going on uh, it's known for its track and field there is uh, this indian so- indian society that organizes dance and dramas so yeah it's a lot of options there uh so usc is actually known for a cs program uh mm-hmm. <coughs> i think one of the toughest course that i know there which was related to machine learning i'm not sure uh but yes if you get into you a computer science at usc uh you would be doing good with your internship and job hunt it's a very good like i would say a stamp to have like a usc cs uh, masters uh so for me uh being a kemi at in mumbai university we never had uh, like easy solutions or some things like that that electronics and computer science generally have so i was used to uh like going through books and reference books so it was a little easier on my side i'm not sure uh it will be the same but uh, the classes are generally 3 hours uh, every day uh three core courses have three courses are minimum so that takes like sizable chunk uh, if you get an on campus job which i recommend you should for the expenses that will take about 20 hours of your week uh, so for me five mandatory courses and four electives uh, so it's credit based that you will see 28 credits to graduate uh, 27 i think if you're cs three credits make up a course when i was there i heard now it's four so not sure about that number so nine subjects five mandatory four electives yes if your parent department approves it uh, so if you are a cs guy you want to take a biomed you might have a good explanation why but if you are a cs guy you want to take an electrical course you can just get a pass from your department So depends it's a case to case basis but usually you get actually read the reference books uh, outside the syllabus book i would like to say and try to do the homework on your own for for a considerable amount of time before asking help for your ta and ra like try like go through books read the internet just try your best and then go rather than going first and Yeah that will help you a lot in the exam